Hey guys, I hope you're good. I hope you're blessed. I hope you are amazing. So today I have another natural hair video for you guys and it is a tutorial on how I make my own flaxseed gel. Yes, excited. So you're going to need flax seeds, of course. You're going to need a jug or something to pour your mixture into your container. You're going to need a wig cap. Now this is to separate the flax seeds from the gel because the flax seeds are quite small and you don't want the flax seeds in your gel. So you're going to need something to separate the seeds from the gel. And then you're going to need a container to keep your flaxseed gel in. So yeah. Let's get started. So firstly, you're going to pour the flax seeds into your pot. Normally I would use um, one cup, a small cup to pour the flax seeds into the pot, but because I was lazy and um, I didn't measure properly, I just poured it into the pot. However, I do believe that I poured a bit too much, so I did end up taking some out. Yep, this is me taking out the flax seeds because I poured way too much. And you're gonna need something like this, depending on how much you wanna make. And then you're gonna add hot water. And the reason why I'm adding hot water because it, it uh, means that the flax seeds will not have to boil for too long. So I'm adding hot water. Make sure that it is at least above the level of flax seeds. It can't um, be anything less than that or your flax seeds will burn. <laughs> and then you're gonna allow the flax seeds to boil um on a medium heat make sure that it boils on a medium heat not too high and not too low and then you're going to stir the flax seeds and this is to avoid it sticking to the pot I'm just going to stir it making sure that the flax seeds are not sticking and they're not going to burn and you want to keep checking the consistency because you want the flaxseed gel to be a thick snot like consistency i know that's not the best way to describe it but that's what you want because the thicker the flaxseed gel then the more defined your curls and coils are going to be yes ladies and gents they're going to be nice and defined when the flaxseed gel is thick as you can see it's getting thicker and thicker we're getting that thick it's not like consistency and really and truly it should boil for about 10 minutes but this depends on how much water you put in if you want a lot of gel then you're probably going to need more water which means it will have to boil for longer but i didn't add too much water so it did take about 10 minutes approximately to boil as you can see it's thick it's exactly how I need it and yeah it's not moving from the wooden spoon that's exactly how thick you're gonna need it and then you're gonna switch off the gas and you're going to allow the mixture to cool down for approximately 10 minutes this is so that you don't burn your hands ladies and gents this is exactly how you want it you want it thick not runny we want it like gooey and then you're going to place your mixture you're going to pour your mixture into the wig cap and your wig cap will be over the jug now this is where we are about to separate the flax seeds from the actual gel just making sure i get everything you don't want to waste anything because I didn't make a lot so I needed everything and there it is then you're going to grab the wig cap and you're going to squeeze the wig cap separate the seeds from the gel it may not be a wig cap that you use but whatever you separate it you're going to have to squeeze 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 especially because the thick it's a thick consistency as well so this is the messy part not the best bit not the nicest bit but you've got your flaxseed gel. And there we have it. <laughs> I barely made anything. I can't lie to you guys. I really did not make a lot. But it does end up being enough to saturate my whole head. And then you pour your gel into your container. It doesn't look nice at all. But the results, the results when you put it on your hair, you will see you will see 
again trying to get everything every bit i can because i did not make a lot and voila there is my flaxseed gel <laughs> okay guys so yeah we're starting on um not so clean hair but that's best for me because i feel like my hair is just more defined when it's less clean i know that's just my me that's my hair but let's get started so first of all i'm going to go in with water mix the coconut oil because we need some moisture and then the sealant which is the coconut oil to just you know it's warm water by the way because i'm a low porosity babe if you watched my last video you would know exactly what that means okay so i'm gonna go in i'm working with smaller sections um because when you work small sections it's easier to get the product throughout your whole entire hair so i'm gonna put some more water on that yeah 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 see you can see a bit of um white residue that's all the product that i've been putting in my hair for the last two weeks right so then i go in with moisturizer and my moisturizer is the Cantu leave-in so we always go in with a moisturizer before we style because we don't want crunch and dryness we want shine and moisture hello hi yes we do so i'm gonna go in with that and you can see some small beads of white residue that's okay it will vanish in jesus name amen um so then i'm gonna go in with my brush this is it's not the exact demo brush but it's similar and i the reason why i use this is because it clumps my curls together so i'm just gonna do that hello hello hi yep 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 we're getting somewhere and then we're gonna go in with some oil to seal in that moisture i'm going in with 100 percent argan oil yes hello okay there we go okay now we're gonna go in with my flaxy gel it's been a while and i hope this works it's not the best of smells ladies and gents it's not the best of smells it smells quite um naturey to say the least <laughs> but it is very healthy it's so healthy for your hair and gives you brilliant definition so you know <laughs> let's see how this comes out wow <gasps> Oh, oh, and once again, I am not disappointed. This is sensational. I just made my own gel once again. Oh, my days, ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. Wait, sorry, this is so great. Okay, let's go again. Another section. Yeah, my hair's really shrunk, it's a mess, but. We're gonna do it again. Right, I need a hairband. Gonna go in with my brush gently from the tips upwards, ladies and gents. Right, right, right. Okay, and you can see that it's clumping my curls together. Now we're gonna go in with 100% argan oil, yes, from Morocco, all the way from Morocco, ladies and gents. And then we're gonna go in and seal in the moisture. Yeah, yeah. Woo, can you see that shine? Can you see that shine, yeah? Can you see that shine? Can you see that shine? Now we're gonna go in with my DIY flaxy gel are you ready are you ready it's like a snotty um it's like a snotty consistency let me just tell you that guys it's not very nice but you will have healthy hair and defined hair oh glory oh glory oh hallelujah that is so sensational ah! so sensational wait sorry don't wait hold on a sec ladies and gents hold on oh my days ladies and gents look at this uh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's working 
Ho, 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 my goodness. No, look at the definition though. <gasps> look at the definition. Wait a moment. Look at the definition. I can't believe. And wait, hold up. I'm gonna go in again with my water mixed with coconut oil. I'm just gonna spray that, especially to your tips, because your tips are the oldest part of your hair, like I said. Obviously because of my low porosity hair, you can still see like the white residue, obviously because of the flaxseed gel being mixed with um, other products and the products I've had in my hair for a very long time because I've not washed my hair for like two weeks. But um, yes, after a while, maybe like 10 minutes, it will dry and um, yeah. <laughs> But that is all my flaxseed gel gone. Um, I definitely underestimated how much you know I would need. I mean, it, it it was enough to saturate all of my hair, but I definitely like normally I make a lot more. But I wouldn't advise making so much because really and truly, I think it's best to have the flaxseed gel for like a week because if you have it any longer, the smell, <laughs> the smell is. Uh, ooh, I don't think. Um, you would want to be putting smelly products in your hair, but it is amazing I'm gonna like list a few benefits of flaxy gel in the description bar below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I want to see if guys can try this on their waves and if they will get that shine and definition I feel like you know the guys should actually try this. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it'll work, but I, it's a recommendation. You know, you might get shine and some, you know, some nice waves. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Gonna come with a lot more as well, so stay tuned. But yes, God bless you guys richly. Keep shining. Love you all so much, and I will see you soon. <laughs>